with the increase in population and rise in demand people have become greedy and they usually follow the shortcut means to earn more profit um, like what we see in food adulteration what is food adulteration it is the process by which the quality of the food is lowered how either by adding low quality material or by removing a valuable ingredient i repeat food adulteration is the process by which the quality of food is lowered either by adding low quality material or by removing a valuable ingredient example of food adulteration like mixing milk with water to add volume then adding starch in paneer to make it thicker and softer um, mixing jaggery in uh, honey then mixing dyes stone pieces to pulses i repeat the examples of food adulteration mixing milk with water to add volume uh, mixing dyes stone pieces to pulses adding starch in paneer to make it thicker and softer then uh, mixing jaggery in honey now we have a particular team to look after this food adulteration it is f s s a i what is the full form food and safety authority of india i repeat food and safety standards authority of india now what is their responsibility food and safety standards authority of india is responsible for protecting and promoting public health through the regulation and supervision of food safety i repeat food and safety standards authority of india is responsible for protecting and promoting public now um, we shall discuss the question answers of the chapter please keep a pen in your hand a copy and keep on taking notes please keep a record of all the things let's go to the first question the first question is what are deficiency diseases i repeat what are deficiency diseases now i have already stated i hope you remember that disease is a departure from the normal health there are of two types communicable disease which gets transferred from one person to another non communicable disease which do not get transferred from one person to another deficiency disease is a type of non communicable disease why is it caused it is basically caused due to lack of nutrients in our diet so what are deficiency diseases when our body does not get adequate quantities of nutrients the body becomes deficient in them this causes deficiency diseases for example marasmus night blindness i repeat when our body does not get adequate quantities of nutrients the body becomes deficient in them this causes deficiency diseases for example marasmus night blindness we come to the next question what are nutrients list the different nutrients i repeat what are nutrients list the different nutrients see nutrients i told you they are the ingredients of our food what makes up our food are the nutrients so nutrients are the organic and inorganic constituent of our food i repeat nutrients are the organic and inorganic constituent of our food the different nutrients include protein vitamin carbohydrate fats minerals these are okay so the different nutrients include protein carbohydrate fat minerals vitamin next question what is a balanced diet i repeat what is a balanced diet a diet that contains 
sufficient amount of all the nutrients as well as enough water and dietary fiber is called a balanced diet. I repeat, a diet that contains sufficient amount of all the nutrients as well as enough water and dietary fiber is called a balanced diet. Next question. What is the role of FSSAI in India? I repeat. What is the role of FSSAI in India? Food and Safety Standards Authority of India is responsible for protecting and promoting public health through the regular supervision of food safety. I repeat, Food and Safety Standards Authority of India is responsible for protecting and promoting public health through the regular supervision of food safety. Now we come to the next question. Discuss the adverse effects of eating junk food. I repeat, discuss the adverse effects of eating junk food. Daily consumption makes the brain weak and non-functional, may lead to loss of memory. Next, they are addictive in nature and usually lead to overeating. Third point, as a result, the body becomes deficient in nutrients. Fourth, they increase the chance of being obese, heart diseases, diabetes and chronic diseases. I repeat the answer. The adverse effects of eating junk food includes Daily consumption makes the brain weak and non-functional May lead to loss of memory They are addictive in nature and usually lead to overeating As a result, the body becomes deficient in nutrients Last, they increase the chance of being obese, heart diseases, diabetes and chronic diseases the next question says, how can you prevent lifestyle disorders? I repeat, how can you prevent lifestyle disorders? Ways to prevent the lifestyle disorder are Use less oil while cooking Control the use of salt and sugar in food Eat lots of fresh fruits and salads Eat more steamed food and avoid deep fried food Add sprouts to your diet, for example, chana. Also keep an eye on your meal portions. I repeat the question, how can you prevent lifestyle disorders? Lifestyle disorders can be prevented by adopting the following measures, which includes use less oil while cooking, control the use of salt and sugar in food, eat lots of fresh fruits and salads, Eat more steamed food and avoid deep fried foods. Add sprouts to your diet, for example, chana. Last, also keep an eye on your meal portions.